and still being in denial. I was one of those people, you know when we were marching and you saw the people that were against what we're talking about? I was one of them. It was my body, it was my choice, and I, you know, I was gonna do what I wanted to do. At the age of 30, I was raped. Why? Because I was making poor decisions. Why? Because I dated my self-esteem. And I ended up having to have yet another abortion. At that point, I knew I had crossed the line and God brought me to my knees. It was a good day in that regard, but a painful one because I needed to repent of what I had done. I had killed my three children. I am the parent of three dead children. I don't have a cemetery to go to, to visit them. These are the things we don't talk about. We don't talk about the fact that we're parents to dead children. If you're a man and you've paid for an abortion, you're the father of a dead child. But God is good and you will see your babies again. You will. It's astounding to see how many of you in Ireland are for life. I wish we could see this in every single country. I've been all over the world to speak on this issue because it's a very important one. I speak from a place of, I've had them. It is a life. It is not a clump of cells. We need to be honest in this conversation. If we're not honest, we will never, ever, ever make headway when it comes to those that don't understand. We need a Surgeon General warning. Women need to understand the ramifications of abortion. It's not just a clump of cells. It's your baby.